Okay, I'm gonna talk about this for just a moment. All right, so this is a 2022 KTM 250 XC TPI with the TSP, which is two stroke performance. So it has high compression head, it has a, a remapped ECU, and I don't know, I'm lost my train of thought there for a second. Uh, but anyway, high compression head, remapped ECU, gives more oil so it's uh, better to prevent seizures. Uh, but it has a lot more power. And you can see, if you guys have been watching the video here with me, you can see how quick it just, it wants to burst. And, but yet it has that, that uh, low lugging ability. And that's actually great because I know you saw a lot of mud puddles, uh, but it's, the ground in some areas is, is pretty dry and there's a great traction, but in other areas it's really slick. And so one of the benefits is that when you have the ability to kind of lug it down a little bit, it's getting traction all the time. It's not, it's not just breaking loose and spinning. But, you know, when you want to get on the, on the pipe, it's, it will do it very quick. So, man, every time I ride this bike, I love it more and more. Uh, I have done some other things to it. Um, you can't see it right now, but I've got Del Saggio Spears in the front fork, so it's a spring fork conversion. And that makes a huge difference in the rideability. Uh, everybody talks about that stiction on the air forks. And yes, you can lower the air pressure down enough where it's great in some areas, but then you got to change the air pressure to ride in other areas. So this is great. I have one setting. Why? I have clickers up top where I can always adjust if I need to. But for the most part, I kind of leave it in one area. And it doesn't matter whether I'm riding over rocks and roots like this or I'm riding out in the, the uh, you know, hard hard hitting bumps and jumps and stuff like that but it just it's it's a great ride it has bladders in there and so they have bladders so basically you know riding over these rocks and stuff this is actually really smooth and maybe something a little bit larger but it's also got a lot of bottoming resistance so you're able to come off of jumps even though it's you know valved for riding off woods um it would still be great on a on a motocross track too I did have them do the bladder kit, and I had this done at, at uh, Into Dirt down in California. But they did the bladder kit and revalve the rear shock. And then I also did the Luxon um, extended pull rod. And so basically what that does, it lowers, it lowers the seat level a little bit. I think it drops at about 10 millimeters. But basically what it does is it changes the, it changes the, the linkage ratio. And so it's going to be a little more plush on the soft stuff. And so it's very comfortable. And then it more, has more bottoming resistance. So, you know, the shocks and the fork work hand in hand. And it's just, it's a great ride. So like I said, it doesn't matter whether you're out here in this stuff, you know, or if you're riding on the track, it's it's great setup for both, both areas. Uh, but anyway, yeah, other than that, it's, bike is fairly stock. Um, you know, I have changed some levers and, and put different W wheels on there. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's all stock and, and it's a great riding bike. I currently have... ...19.7 hours. And like I said, every time I ride it, it just seems like it's a little bit better each time. I did put the FCP motor mounts. You can see right there. So you've got a titanium bolt up front. And you've got uh, billet aluminum motor mounts up top. And the biggest reason that I did that, now I've done it on my other bikes too, but on this model, and I know 23 is a little stiffer, so it'd be a little bit different, but there was tendencies where I would come into a corner and I would lean the bike over and then it didn't want to come back up. And I had that same issue with my 2019 model. And so I did the same thing. I put the FCP motor mounts on there and that eliminated that issue. Uh, so it's still, still corners are great, but like I said, there was a couple situations where I come into a corner and, you know, there may be a situation where I was kind of too far back on the bike and I'm kind of leaning around a tree or something and then it didn't want to stand back up. And so there was a couple times where I could have gone over a cliff because I couldn't get the bike to stand back up. So that kind of made me think that, Hey, I need to check and see what I can do to make it better. And obviously that made it better. So thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, any comments, feel free to send them my way. 
take the time to like and subscribe if you like the videos and uh, want to see more content. So thanks again.